back on another video back back on another video day 28 day 28 i said a day 28 started from the bottom now we here started from the bottom now my whole team here started from the bottom now we here Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team in. Started from the bottom, now we here. Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a video on advice on things you should take to your installation. Ways to prepare for your installation, ways to prepare for your consultation, and how to get started with your sister lock journey. Okay, so first. I know you already watched my video, how to find a consultant. Go back and check it out so that you can make sure that you are doing the right things, taking the right steps, using those tips and tricks to find your consultant. Okay, now you found your consultant. What's next? You're ready for your consultation. You already scheduled it. What should you do? Before your consultation, make sure that you wash your hair. It's clean and dry, naturally dry, not blow dry or straighten, um, and ready to go at its natural state. Um, also, make sure if you cannot remember questions that you have, make sure that you remember to write them down so that you don't forget to ask the certain questions that you need to ask your consultant. I will not be talking about those questions in this video because I've already made a video about that, so make sure you check it out. Um, what else I would do um, before you go to your consultation, you have to make sure that you have the money that you need for the consultation. Make sure that you feel comfortable enough to talk to the person while you're there, ask as much questions as you need to, to make sure that you're prepared for your installation. And make sure that this is the right person that you want to install your sister locks. Okay? Um, a word of advice would to be to make a more than one consultation appointment just in case you don't find the right consultant at the first consultation that you go to. You want to be prepared to have a backup consultant just in case one falls through or, you, or you're not able to um, speak to that person or you're not feeling comfortable with that consultant anymore. Um, I just want to also say one thing about my consultant is that I did talk to her after I made the video um, about my installation. I did go back and I talked to her about things that happened and she told me that she would like to make sure that I'm happy and she's willing to do um, give me some type of discount or some type of something to make me feel better about the situation. So, okay. Um, I did not say nothing about that chair though. I'm, I said that's a... That's something that you gotta talk about in person. You can't be on the phone talking about all that. So that's something that I'll talk about in person and I'm not gonna be rude with that. And if you don't know nothing about that, you make sure you go back and watch my, you gotta check out all my videos if you don't know what's going on. Catch up, you gotta catch up. But um, yeah, so installation. Once you figure out who your consultant's gonna be, you made the appointment for your installation, you need to pack a bag. You need to be ready to go the next day. Do it be the night before so then the morning that you have it, you're not rushing or forgetting something. Um, if you like to be entertained with your laptop, your phone, make sure you bring the chargers for those items so that they don't die on you within the time frame that you're in your installation. Um, bring headphones because you don't want to disturb anyone that's in the salon or at the consultant's home with the things that you're listening to or you know whatever you're doing so it could be private also if you have additional questions that you didn't get answered at the consultation or if you want to write down things that you talked about at the consultation and make sure that the consultant is reiterating the things that you talked about and doing the service that you talked about. So if it's not something that you agreed upon, make sure you speak up and find out what's going on. Bring a um, seat cushion so that your butt is not hurting, okay? Like for real, I'm trying to tell you. Um, someone said bring a, a, a footstool and I didn't listen to that. And that might be a good idea, just bring a footstool just in case you know something ain't right. Bring a footstool. Um, you know, one of those little stools, the little stools that you can stand on for kids or whatever. Just something that you can raise your feet on 
if there is not something that you can rest your feet on because your legs will get restless um bring a if it's not if it's in the winter time or if it's cold bring a little blanket because you never know if the place is going to be chilly um bring wear light clothes and comfortable clothes and then bring a jacket just in case it might be like an air conditioner that's too cold for you um depending on how you know how you are so be prepared for um your body temperature changing or you know something not being right um bring food bring food bring your favorite meals snacks drinks just make sure you have enough that's going to um, last throughout the um, day that you're not sitting there hungry. Eat a meal before. Um, before I went, I just ate, you know, a couple egg sandwiches, just some eggs and some bread. So I wasn't super full, um, but I wasn't hungry at the same time. Um, I did bring a large water, a bottle of water, so I can be refreshed and not thirsty and I didn't have to get up a lot of time. Sure, at your consultation that your consultant texts you the amount or write down the amount that your, that your um, installation fee is so that you're prepared to pay that price. Um, and if they say a different price than what you have written down, then you can show them this is what we agreed upon. Um, make sure that you have the total price if it's going to be um if the consultation is going to be separate price if it's going to be subtracted out that price because for me um my consultation was 45 dollars and she said that at first she said she wasn't taking it out and then i talked to her about it, like i don't know i don't understand why you didn't take it out blah 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 because my price was seven i was quoted 775 but then i ended up paying 820 altogether because she didn't take out that $45 of the consultation but she said that she took it out once I gave it to her and she told me the re remainder price but she never gave me the total price so it was all so just make sure that you know that you both know what's going on you're on the same page so nobody is confused on the price size locks you want all that just make sure it's all like documented for your safety and for your installation and establishment um, to be exactly what you wanted and dreamed of. Okay, so make sure you bring the money. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring the money. Bring the money that you owe. I think we all know that. But just bring the right amount of money so that you don't have to leave to go to the ATM and whatever and whatnot. Um, you can tip your consultant. That's up to you. That's your personal choice. I did give my consultant a tip. Take pictures before and after your establishment and document your journey so you can see your growth and where, how far you came. Um, it's very important and it's wonderful to go back and see because I know I love seeing my pictures and seeing the growth within these four weeks. It's amazing um, all the changes my hair has been going through. So um, I think that's everything you need. I hope I'm not missing anything. Um, I really thank you for uh, continue to come back and watch my channel. I hope that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you have thank you I love all my subscribers. I thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the motivation I appreciate it y'all um, Keep watching because it's more to come more fun and you know how we do on this channel we get lit you Have a great day and come back Think you stop me. I'm all the way up.